the inner and outer thigh machine. Now this, most people consider this a girl's exercise, especially most guys consider this a girl's exercise. And well, let's face it, we all like to see girls doing the inner and outer thigh machine. I don't know, it's just something about it. You see a girl spread her legs and your primitive urges start to kick in. <laughs> right? That's nature just taking over, right? It's a sign of a healthy testosterone level. However, this exercise, my friend, is not just for the ladies. It is for the gentlemen as well. And I know a lot of guys are probably saying, well, I don't want to be sitting on a machine spreading my legs open and closing them and all that stuff. But look at it from this point of view. The inner and outer thigh machine will help to increase your... Be quiet, I'm trying to do a video here. <laughs> the inner and outer thigh machine will help to build up your hips and this is going to help to increase your squat, increase your deadlift, and it's going to make you feel stronger in a lot of power sports. So if you want to be stronger in squatting and deadlifting, strong hips, strong inner thighs, all these muscles are going to support that. Uh, the same thing with athletes. If you play sports, uh, where you have to do a lot of side-to-side -side movement, football players, basketball players, you know, where you're on the court and you're running side-to-side, -side, things like that, where you're on the field side-to-side. -side. This stuff, working your inner and outer thigh, is critical. So guys, don't think of this as a woman's exercise. This is a man's exercise as well, and it's something you should do as a regular part of your workouts. All right, so starting off with the inner thigh machine, adductor. It's adductor and abductor. I always think add, close your legs together, add them together, add abductor, spread them apart. Uh, with this move, don't go too wide initially because you want to work within your flexibility level. Now, I'm a bit used to it so I can go a little wider, but don't overstretch yourself and pull the groin muscle because that can really set you back. That's a, a very painful injury to overcome. And with these moves, don't go super heavy. Focus on higher reps. So I'm going to do sets of 25 reps. So right after that, immediately jump the outer thigh and just super set them back and forth. Okay, shoot for 25 reps a set. If you need to, you can rest 30 seconds or so between sets, that's fine. But if you want to go for 100 total reps, So, with this, if you want, like say you can throw it in as part of your leg workout, but if you've already got a fairly extensive leg workout now, you can throw it in separate. You know, it's just an assistant exercise. It's just something to throw in as an extra move to help build up the hips, the inner thigh, and make it feel more solid. So, I recommend throwing it in at least once a week if you're new to this, because chances are if you haven't been doing these exercises, your hips are probably weak. And by focusing on that area, bringing that weak link up, you're going to notice an improvement in your power exercises like squats and leg presses and deadlifts and all those moves. Plus just having more, you know, sprinting power, jumping power and all that stuff. So it's good to throw it in once a week. <coughs> Alright, so that's basically it, you know, the inner and outer thigh machine. It's not a woman's exercise, it's for guys and athletes as well. So give it a try. Leave me a comment below, let me know how it works for you. And as always, make sure to subscribe to my video channel. I'm always adding new workout tips, nutrition tips, and stuff like that. So subscribe to the video channel so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Take care, over and out.